next guest tonight won an Emmy for playing Zach Galifianakis's mother on Baskets, but he is best known for the stand-up he's been doing on late-night TV shows like this for over 30 years. Please welcome Louie Anderson. Hey, Louie. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much. Oh, what a beautiful day, huh? I almost went for a walk. <laughs> I came this close. <laughs> I want to be more healthy. You know, I don't, people look like me, we don't lay in bed all day and eat. You know, it just happens. And, <laughs> but if you're gonna eat healthy, you need a healthy friend. I have a healthy friend and she says to me, Louie, I'm gonna turn you around. Well, you better bring another person. And when you go to eat with someone healthy, well, it's not easy because somebody at the table next to you has something and you smell it. What is that? <laughs> That's bang, bang, shrimp. Oh my God. Can I get a bang, bang salad? <laughs> and you know, I am, I am, I am. I, I've eaten every bad thing, every bad thing I've eaten. So now I look at the healthy side of the menu. What's on here? Salmon. <laughs> Sorry. I always want to say to the server, you got anything less fishy? You got any pork that swims? You got any spamming? The only time I want to eat salmon is when I'm watching the animal planet and a grizzly plucks one from a stream. I think to myself, I should give salmon another try. <laughs> he makes it look so delicious. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, and then you know the server, poor server when you're with a healthy person, they just cross-examine them. Is it free range chicken? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> it means they get to run free, Louie. <laughs> before they kill him? <laughs> that seems crueler to me. <laughs> the chickens in the coop are trying to warn her. You're living a lie, Betty! You're just jealous because I'm free range. <laughs> They're going to kill you, Betty. <laughs> You've always been jealous of me. I'm free range. <laughs> bang, bang. Oh, I tried to warn her. <laughs> Betty. What a great again. show. Nice to see you again. Yeah, thank you. Nice to see you. Now, listen, uh, as I said, you've been doing uh, stand-up on shows like this for 30 years. You've been a stand-up comic traveling around for 40 years yes. now. So, Do you think stand-ups, because you play in so many different towns across the, the United States, do you think you understand the country better than other people? I think so, a little bit. Or at least you see it all. Like, you know, I went to Oregon, or Oregon. I'm not sure how you say it. Could you... <laughs> You get corrected up there. Oregon, Oregon. That's what I said. Anyway, it's nice to stay up there because you stay at a hotel where you can hunt from the window. <laughs> I, got, I got my limit and uh, two tourists, so. Do you, do you, have you seen any like impressive things? Because when I was a when I was a, a younger cat, I we would tour around the United States, and I love yeah. sort of oh, I didn't, uh, there's the world's largest lighthouse by a tower. You it's know, true. You're like, well, I saw I went to San Antonio, I saw the Alamo. That's that's cool. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. And you know, Mrs. Stelzik in third grade made that thing seem huge, <laughs> but when you get there, if you haven't seen it, you go oh, <laughs> is that it? 
pretty sure I could have held this for a couple of days. <laughs> I always carry a steak knife with me. But it's true. And then, and, and of course, I went to Boston, and you know, the guy that was driving me goes, We're on the uh, road where Paul Revere rode. That's good. That's good. I bet he was going faster than we are in this travel. Do you see a lantern up ahead? Um, uh, you're on uh, Baskets. You play Zach Fal Galifianakis' mom. You I won do. an Emmy for it this past yeah. year. And you have a lovely, very believable, uh, you know, a motherly quality with him on the show. Yeah. Do, you, do you exhibit that same relationship with him off camera, too? Well, I'm a maternal person anyways. That's a little off right there. <laughs> and, um, I, uh, so... That's a good audience. Thank you. That's a good audience. Good. I was going to do this, but it's 2017. <laughs> no one wants their, your spit on them. Nobody. Even no. your mom. Mom. <laughs> but yes, I am. You know, sometimes I'll walk up behind him and push his hair back and stuff. You know, go, what the hell? I'm your mother. <laughs> and so fun. But yes, I am. I'm, I say, do you eat enough today? Do you feel good? Did you go to the bathroom? Did you go? But he's a lovely person to work with. And I really do. I feel I don't let anyone call me Louis on the set. I make him call me Christine. So. Well, you have a, you have a lovely uh, uh, maternal relationship with him on the show. And we have a clip here oh. of, I think, I think Zach has been arrested for some yes, reason. Yes, I'm there to bail him out. Jim? What did you do to get in here? Mom, it was just, it was trespassing and, 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 and mischief, I think. Mischief? Mischief, yeah, general mischief. Mischief! Mischief! Were you chasing a mouse around? <sighs> Jim, is it because I sent your French wife away? No, that's not it. You know, Jim, I provide a house for you, I give you food, I give you money, I, brought, I, bought, I bought you tennis shoes, I paid for your clown college. I don't know what to tell you, Mom. I'm, I'm a millennial. What does that even mean? I actually don't know. It's a fun show. Louis, great yeah, to have you on again. Good to see you. <laughs> Season two of Baskets is available now on FX. Louis Anderson, everybody. We'll be right back.